Okay, this is a typical Mazda rotary full-size model made by Mazda and what we've got is a 12A configuration, 1200 cc and what happens here as you stop the model is the gas comes in through the intake port there would be another one on this side but for obvious reasons Mazda didn't put one in there because kids would put their fingers in there and it pulls gas all the way until the rotor shuts off the port then it takes this volume of gas and it presses it against the side plates. Right here at the epitricoidal surface, the leading plug and the trading plug fire and create an explosion. This power stroke runs all the way down till the exhaust port opens up. When the exhaust port opens up, you will lose all compression and all of your power. And of course the other rotor is lined up behind this and you can see it back there, it'll fire creating the exhaust stroke for this one. So when this one fires, it's creating a, the exhaust stroke for the other, and they all sit on an eccentric shaft which is 180 degrees out. So you've got one intaking, one firing, and one exhausting, 180 degrees out, two cylinder, six cylinder, two stroke porting with intake, compression, ignition, and exhaust. And that's how a rotary engine works.